Hello everyone and welcome to this video on the Python programming language. So in this video I will show you how to build a book recommendation system or engine using Python. Now before we begin, if you like the videos on the channel be sure to click that subscribe and like button and to be notified about new videos from the channel hit that bell notification. Now currently I'm on Google's website. It's called colab.research.google.com and I'm on it because it makes it really easy to start programming in Python. So all you have to do is go to this website, log in using your Google account and get started writing your Python code. So to get started writing this code, go ahead and click on File, then click on New Notebook, where a new tab open up for you, and then eventually a new cell. And in this cell, I'm going to put in some comments. I'm going to put in a description about the program. So I'm just going to type, build a book recommendation engine slash system. All right, so that way I can just read that description and know what this program is about or what it's supposed to do. So let's create a new cell by clicking that code button in the top left. And in this cell, I'm going to import the libraries that I plan on using throughout the program. So I'm going to import NumPy as NP. I'm going to import pandas as PD from sklearn.metrics.pairwise. I'm going to import cosine underscore similarity. Okay, and from sklearn.feature underscore extraction dot text. I'm going to import count vectorizer. Okay, now let's go ahead and run this cell by clicking this button here to the left and it's gonna let me know if I made any mistakes. Okay, so everything looks good. Let's create a new cell and now let's load the data. So I'm gonna load a data set that I have that contains a variety of books and information about those books. So in order to do that, I need to use Google's library. So from google.colab, I'm going to import files, and then I'm going to just type files.upload to upload the file. So let's go ahead and run this and click on choose files, and let's open books.csv. Okay, so it's loading up now. And when it's done, which is done now, we're gonna go ahead and create a new cell and we're going to store the data. So let's create a variable called df and set it equal to pd.read underscore csv and input the name of the file, which is books.csv. And then I'm going to set encoding equal to unicode underscore escape. And I'm going to set error underscore bad underscore lines equal to false. All right, so let's go ahead and run this and let's create a new cell and let's show the data. So we're going to show the data here. So just type df. And let's run this. And I'm going to go down. And we can see that this data set contains 11,123 rows of data and 12 columns. So let's scroll back up and take a look at these columns. So the columns are title, authors, average rating, ISBN, ISBN 13, language, code, num pages, rating, um, ratings count, text reviews count, publication date, publisher, and book ID. Okay, so let's go ahead and create a new cell. Okay, so now I'm going to talk about what we want to do with this program before I continue writing any more logic for the code. So the idea here is to get a book that the user likes and then based off of that book, we want to suggest to the user other books that he or she may like. So in order to do this, I'm going to use this data set. So we're going to find a book here that the user likes from this data set and then find recommended books based off of what the user likes from this data set and recommend it to the user. Okay, so I need to know some important columns in this data set that can help me do this. So let's go back up to the data set and let's look at these columns. And I actually believe that the column title the column authors and the column publisher are important columns to determine if a, a user should be recommended a book or not. Okay, so this is just my opinion and you can come up with your own columns that you think are important, but these are the columns that I'm gonna be using in this video. So let's go back down to the cell that was created. And in the cell, I want to create a list of columns to keep. 
So I'm going to create a variable called columns and set it equal to an empty list. And then I'm going to populate it with the column names like title and then authors and publisher. All right, so let's go ahead and run this. And let's create a new cell. And now in this cell, I'm going to create a function to combine the important columns slash features. So let's call this function combine underscore features and it's going to take in oh, features. All right, and it's going to take in some data. So I'm going to create an empty list called features. And I'm going to set it equal to, again, an empty list. So I have my empty list called features. And I'm going to append it. I'm sorry, I'm going to append the combined list to it. So in order to do this, I need to loop through my data set. So I'm going to use, use a for loop for this. So for i in range 0 to the length of the data set. So that's data dot shape at position 0. I'm going to append two features. So type features dot append. All right. And I'm going to append the data in the title column with a space. And I'm going to append that to data in the authors column and with a space. And I'm going to append that with data in the publisher column. And then I need to tell it which row. So that's going to be row at position I. So I'm just going to put that here and here as well. OK, and then I'm just going to return that list. So return features. OK, so let's go ahead and run this. Let's create a new cell. And now in this cell, I'm going to create a column to store the combined features. So let's call this column combined underscore features. And let's set it equal to combined features. And we're going to input our data set DF. And then we want to show the data. So I'm just going to type DF and let's run this and let's look at the new column. And there it is all the way to the right called combined features. So everything looks good so far. All right. So next, let's create a new cell. And now let's use that new column that we just created. So I'm going to convert the text from the new column to a matrix of word counts. All right, so let's create a variable called CM, which will be short for count matrix. And I'm going to set it equal to count vectorizer dot fit underscore transform. And I'm going to transform the combined features. So that's the combined underscore features column. All right, so let's go ahead and run this. And let's create a new cell. Now in this cell, I'm going to get the cosine similarity matrix. from the count matrix. All right, so this will give us a n by n matrix of similarity scores for each book. So I'm going to create a variable called CS, which will be short for cosine similarity. I'm going to set it equal to the cosine similarity function, and we're going to input our count matrix CM. And then I want to print the scores. So I'm just going to print CS here. And let's run this and take a look at the scores. All right, so what are we looking at here? Well, now we're comparing each book in the data set with every other book in the data set. So row, or I should say the first row here is being compared with the first column and it's seeing how similar it is to that book. So the book in the first column is the same book in the first row. So it has a 100% or one uh, similarity score. Okay, and then we look at the second row here we can see in the second column that it has a 100% similarity score to that book, which is itself. And we can see the same thing for the third row and the third column, and so on and so forth, OK? And we can also see the other similarity scores with the other books here, all right? So that's what we're looking at here. Um, each row is a book, and each column is a book, all right? Okay, so let's go ahead and create a new cell. 
And now what I plan on doing is getting the title of the book the reader likes. So we're going to use, of course, a book from this data set. So let's create a variable called title and set it equal to df title at position one. OK, and then let's take a look at the title that was chosen. So just type title here. Let's run this. OK, so our user likes Harry Potter and the order of the Phoenix, Harry Potter number five. OK, so let's create a new cell and let's start building this recommender system or engine. So I need to find the the book ID of the book that the user likes. So to do that, let's create a variable called book ID and set it equal to df, where df.title is equal to df, oh, I'm sorry, is equal to title. Okay, and I want to return the book ID dot values at position zero. So let's take a look at the book ID. Show the book ID. All right, so let's run this. And now we can see that that book ID is one. Okay. And that's exactly what we expected because it's at index one where we got the title, right? So the book ID actually matches the indices, which is excellent for us. So let's go ahead and create a new cell here. And now let's create a list of tuples or tuples. You can say it both ways, I believe, in the form book ID comma similarity score. OK. So I'm going to create a variable called sorted. Uh, actually, sorry, not sorted. We're going to create a variable called scores. And then we're going to sort these scores later on. Um, scores, and we'll set it equal to list enumerate. And we're going to enumerate through um, the the count. We're going to enumerate through the cosine similarity scores at position book ID. Okay. So let's go ahead and print the scores. And let's run this. All right, so there we go. So we can see the form is book ID followed by similarity scores. All right, so what we just did was we basically found that book ID that we were interested in, and we see that in this um, cosine similarity matrix, right? So the book ID was at index one or is one. So that's, that means that the, the book is at index one, which is here. So this is the row that we're looking at for the similarity score values. And if we go back down here, we can see that that is indeed true. All right, next now, we're going to sort these values. So let's create a variable called sorted scores. And I'm going to, of course, put in some comments here. I'm gonna put sort the list of similar books in descending order. All right, so let's set sorted scores equal to sorted function. We're going to input scores. We're going to set key equal to a lambda function. So I'm going to just put lambda x colon x position one. And we're going to put it in descending order, reverse equal to um, true. OK, and let's show the sorted scores. All right, so I'm just going to type sorted underscore scores and let's run this. OK, so now we can see the sorted scores. I'm going to bring this up. There we go. So now the scores are sorted in descending order. And we can see that this first score here we expected should be 100 percent. Of course, there seems to be some rounding error here and it is the book itself. So let's go ahead and get rid of that. I'm just going to set sorted underscore scores equal to sorted underscore scores from the first index all right to everything else all right so let's go ahead and run this again and now we should have gotten rid of that first score all right so now we got rid of that first book 
which was itself. Or that first um, book ID, which was this book's ID. It was itself. All right, so I think you all understand that. Let's go ahead and create a new cell. And now in this cell, it's time to make some suggestions. So we're going to create a loop to print five books from the sorted list. And not just any five, the first five. All right, so let's create a variable called j and set it equal to zero. And I'm gonna put a little print statement here that basically says the five most recommended books to whatever that book title was. And I'm gonna put R and then a colon and a new line. And now let's loop through our sorted list. So for item in sorted underscore scores, uh, did I say sorted list? Uh, our sorted scores, all right. So we're gonna go through our sorted scores and I'm going to create, or yeah, I should create the variable now. But basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna get the title of the books that are similar to this book, right? So we'll create a variable called book underscore title. And I'm gonna set it equal to df, where df dot book underscore id is equal to the item at position zero. Okay, and I want again the title dot values at position zero. Okay, and then I'm gonna print the first book and then all the rest. So we're gonna print each of these books here and we're gonna make sure that we have the numbers one, two, three, four, five. So I'm gonna print J plus one and the book title. Book underscore title. Okay, and then I need my J value to increment by one. So J equals J plus one. And then I need to break on five. So if J is greater than or equal to six, then break. All right, so let's go ahead and run this. Okay, so it looks like I uh, made a few mistakes here. Let's see what the problem is. I misspelled book ID. So let's get rid of that. Let's run this again. And oh, it shouldn't be uh, equal to, it should just be greater than. So let's run this one more time. Oh, sorry. It should be greater than or equal to five. There we go. All right, so just like that, we have the five most recommended books to Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix, which are Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban, Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Prince, Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets. It looks like we have multiples of these, so there's probably multiples, multiple titles like this in the data set. And then we have Harry Potter and the Goblet Fire. All right. So thanks for watching the video and a special thanks to the Patreon supporters supporting this channel on patreon.com. If you would like to become a supporter, I will leave a link in the description below. And of course, you can get the code and data sets there as well. Thanks again for watching and I hope you all have a great day. See you in the next video.